Financial services are essential to Canadians and our economy. Banks and other institutions that offer these services seldom fail. But when they do, CDIC's role is to resolve the failure in a manner that protects deposits, maintains the flow of financial services, and helps protect Canada's economy. Hmm, sounds serious. It is. Financial institutions provide accounts that we use to receive salaries, pay bills, and hold our savings. They provide mortgages and make loans to businesses so they can invest. If these services were to suddenly stop, it would cause disruption and panic. In the case of Canada's largest banks, a sudden collapse could cause turmoil. Which is why, for over 50 years, CDIC has been here to help. In a crisis, they're prepared to step in quickly to ensure depositors have access to their money and financial services. But what can they do? There are many things they can do. The first priority is to stabilize the failing institution. If there is a buyer for the institution, CDIC can support the sale. They can also take temporary control of the institution if necessary to complete the sale. Or they can transfer deposits and other parts of the business to a temporary bridge bank until a buyer can be found. In the case of Canada's largest banks, a viable private solution could take some time to arrange. So CDIC has the power to convert some of the bank's debt into shares so the firm remains financially viable while it is restructured. Wait, will I be affected by this? Oh. No, depositors are not affected by this process, which is known as bail-in, and the bank carries on operating. In certain cases, a smaller institution may be closed. If this happens, we reimburse insured deposits within days. Ah, nice. As Canada's Resolution Authority, CDIC is always ready to act to protect deposits and maintain confidence in the financial system.